everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm actually going to share a little bit about what goes on in my sex therapy practice, normalizing. Normalizing people's sexual preferences and sexual behavior and sexual experiences. Because the problem with sex is that we don't see our other friends do it usually. I mean, maybe you do, and if you do, kudos to you. But for the most part, we go off of what we see in media and in movies and what our friends dare to share, which is often in line with what they think is appropriate, which is usually derived from what we see in media and in movies. And so we keep getting the same story over and over again. And so it really cements in that belief that if something other than that is happening in the bedroom for you, that it's not okay or that it's not normal or that you're weird. So what I'm going to share with you today is a list of things that happen in sex all the time, totally normal would be weird actually if they didn't happen. And so no need to be embarrassed and it's totally okay. Embrace these things in the bedroom with you. I don't know how I started that sentence. Number one, queefs happen and they're kind of funny. I actually find it goes a lot better if I just laugh. They happen, they absolutely happen. They're most likely to happen in doggy style. Um, and especially if the, um, person who's penetrating is taking the penetrative device or anatomy in and out and in and out again. You are pumping air in there, my friend, and it at some point needs to come out. Number two, needing to pee. It is really natural to start to need to pee in the middle of sex, especially for people with vaginas. So as a female body gets aroused, all of this blood comes down and engorges all of the erectile tissue that we have inside. And watch my video on squirting because this is squirting 101, but the liquid for female ejaculation actually comes out of the urethra and often it will go up back into the bladder. And so it's very natural that as women get aroused that they have to pee because some of their beautiful arousal lady fluids are going up into their bladder. Condoms, number three. There's a few movies where they imply that a condom is being put on and I appreciate that. And it does tend to interrupt a bit of the flow of a sexual experience. And so we tend to get awkward or quiet. Like, oh, this is weird. This doesn't happen in movies. I don't know what to say while you're putting that on. But condoms happen. You can still kiss and touch and love up your partner, whoever's hands are free and good on you for using condoms in the first place. Or lube. Lube is not something that you see a lot in the movies. Um, we are meant to believe that if it is good sex, the female counterpart should be just gushing with all of this natural, beautiful, lovely lubricant. And if you are amazing, and if you're not totally normal, it is natural, and it is okay to use lube. Even if you are very lubricated, lube is fun, wet, slippery, wild, great, all good. Five, foreplay. I should have made it number four. Foreplay is very minimal in movies. And if they do include it, it's kind of like a little montage clippy clip that's really only 20 seconds. And so it still makes the foreplay seem like very quick and the sex scene in and of itself very quick. And so I think we have this unrealistic and co distorted understanding of an appropriate time frame for sex. Movies condenses it into this place where all of a sudden you're looking at each other and then penetration. That's so unrealistic. And every time I see that, I'm just like, oh, oh my gosh, it would probably be so painful. Six, changing positions. Changing positions is very rarely done gracefully. And you are not alone if you need somebody in the balls or the face or any other body part. It's okay. It happens. It's natural. And changing positions is usually advisable during sex. It's very unlikely or maybe a little bit boring if you just stay in the same position the whole time. And it's similar to getting cramps. It's just discomfort in general. Uh, it's very rare that we would see a protagonist be like, oh, this position isn't really working for me. Often we get put or find ourselves in these positions that we believe that we need to stay put and be happy and okay with it. And that sex should feel good no matter what. Absolutely not making yourself comfortable and finding a position that is comfortable for your body is crucial to being able to enjoy sex. Nine, I think I'm on nine, awkward noises. If you've made noises in the bedroom that you wish you hadn't, you are not alone and it's okay. 10, not coming. Often people do not come during sex. It does not mean that it was bad sex. If you don't come every time that you have sex, that is okay. This is not something 
that ever is really shown in a movie. There is always a big finale if we're seeing that far into and we're not getting a cut to the morning after. But in most movies and certainly in porn, there is cum, there is cum galore. And that can really set this high standard and expectation. Sex can still be really amazing without ejaculation, without orgasm. That's all I have for you for today. If you think of other things that happen during sex that most people would consider embarrassing but are really just completely normal, please leave them in the comment section below. And until next time, eat, squat, and come, and queef.